In a recent earth-shattering finding, CERN scientists may have unlocked the key to previously unimaginable technology that has made us question everything we've known so far about physics. The scientific community is about to be flipped upside down when experts at Europe's CERN Big Hadron Collider scurry to double-check their work in an experiment that appears to have defied laws of modern physics. Scientists working there have found evidence that implies subatomic neutrino particles may have moved faster than the speed of light within the particle collider, which is 17 miles in length. There's just one catch. Nothing can go faster than the speed of light. So, what is the meaning of this mind-blowing finding, and how does it alter the world of physics? If you want to know more about the terrible faster-than-light neutrino phenomenon, you should watch this video all the way through to the end. Now, let's get right into the video. Albert Einstein, known as the father of modern physics, based his special theory of relativity on the premise that no object can travel faster than the speed of light, which is 299,792,458 meters per second. In other words, if the CERN experiment is true, Einstein's theories, which have paved the way for several technological advances over the previous century, may only be scratching the surface of our universe's considerably more sophisticated physical constitution. In recent decades, quantum physics, the study of the fundamental particles that make up everything in the universe, has produced some exciting new concepts. CERN's experiments aim to smash particles at high speeds in order to identify the Higgs boson, also known as the God particle. This is currently regarded to be the tiniest possible particle. Because particles with the same polarity should ordinarily repel one another, it is speculated that this particle may reveal the nature of the strong force, the most powerful attractive force at the subatomic level. Think magnets repelling one another. While looking for the Higgs boson particle, scientists have made remarkable progress in various areas. CERN scientists, for example, managed to hold antimatter for a thousand seconds. The researchers that made the discovery are currently seeking confirmation from other scientists. The neutrino beam in issue was measured to be 60 nanoseconds faster than the speed of light, with a margin of error of only 10 nanoseconds. Some fringe theoretical physicists have created a stir with bizarre theories that could help explain the CERN discovery. Nassim Haramein released a paper a few years ago suggesting an entirely new theory of quantum physics, which sent shockwaves across the scientific community. Protons, he claims, behave more like black holes than particles at the subatomic level. This hypothesis is known as the Schwarzschild proton hypothesis. His idea states that the protons that make up the strong force have the gravitational pull of tiny black holes. The electrons and other quantum particles visible at the subatomic level orbit a central point, similar to how planets and stars in our galaxy orbit around a massive core black hole. Haramine basically says that the Higgs boson does not exist. Despite intensive testing, CERN scientists are no closer to identifying the elusive Higgs boson and have stated that the particle may not exist. The bulk of the physics world has ignored Haramine's views, but recent discoveries at CERN imply that our understanding of the physical nature of reality may need to be changed. If confirmed, the most significant discovery in physics in the last 50 years would be that the elusive, virtually massless subatomic particles known as neutrinos appear to travel at a speed somewhat faster than the speed of light. If this were true, it would call into question Einstein's special theory of relativity, which asserts that no object can move faster than the speed of light. The outcome would be so revolutionary that it would be met with considerable skepticism. The Oscillation Project collected these data using the Emulsion T-Racking Apparatus, a particle detector weighing 1,300 metric tons. CERN, the European Particle Physics Laboratory, is based in Geneva, Switzerland, and sends neutrinos through Earth to OPERA, which is located underground in Italy at the Gran Sasso National Laboratory. Particles have relatively weak interactions with matter, therefore they pass right through the ground, with only a small fraction of them showering particles on the detector's substance. OPERA scientists measured the arrival times of approximately 16,000 neutrinos that originated at CERN during a three-year period. They determined that neutrinos, on average, traveled 730 kilometers in approximately 2.43 milliseconds faster than expected if traveling at the speed of light. The primary question is whether the OPERA team observed particles traveling faster than light or whether they were duped by an unforeseen systematic error in their experiment that caused the period to appear artificially short. The Particle Accelerator Large Hadron Collider on the border of France and Switzerland is ready for nuclear scientists to shatter new frontiers in quantum physics 
and break secrets hidden in so-called dark matter. After a three and a half year repair, the Large Hadron Collider has been under construction for the better part of a decade now, having started back in 1998. Scientists are able to test the ideas of particle physics by accelerating protons and ions to extraordinarily high speeds and smashing them together in a circular tube that is 27 kilometers long and located underground. The Large Hadron Collider was responsible for the discovery of the Higgs boson in 2012, which is a particle that is theorized to give matter its mass. As a direct consequence of this, Peter Higgs and Francois Englert were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2013. After the Large Hadron Collider was taken offline at the end of 2018 for its third upgrade, scientists at the European Organization for Nuclear Research, or CERN, are now prepared to begin conducting extensive research using the enhanced machine. It's not anticipated that the subsequent update will occur until 2026. The most recent upgrade to the LHC included the installation of several new instruments, two of which are the scattering and neutrino detectors and the phaser. These can be utilized by researchers in their searches for neutrinos, as well as a type of dark matter known as light dark matter. Due to the fact that neutrinos are chargeless and extremely lightweight subatomic particles, it's extremely challenging to detect them. Since their direct detection in the LHC, scientists have been able to investigate the characteristics of these once under-researched particles. This was made possible by the LHC. Scientists believe that dark matter accounts for more than 85% of the total mass in the universe, yet they have not been able to determine what dark matter actually is. The conventional approach to the investigation of dark matter consists of watching for particles of regular matter to collide with those of dark matter. These kinds of collisions would cause matter particles to recoil, which would open the door to the discovery of dark matter. The primary focus of these investigations has been the search for heavy dark matter as opposed to light dark matter. Assuming that hypothetical particles of dark matter have masses lower than protons, these hypothetical particles would not have a recoil strong enough to be discovered by the majority of tests, since they would not have a large enough mass. The new detectors at CERN are not intended to directly detect dark matter. Rather, they're designed to detect the light dark matter particles that researchers at CERN hope to produce as a result of collisions at the LHC. Even the engineering that underpins the LHC has been fundamentally rethought by CERN. The end effect was a higher injector output as well as an increased detector sensitivity overall. It will be possible to generate more energy once improvements have been made to the injectors, which are used to accelerate particles just before they're injected into the LHC. Because of this, the previous world record for the energy produced by proton collisions, which stood at 13 TeV, has been surpassed, and the new limit stands at 13.6 TeV. The additional 0.6 TeV makes it easier to realize the greater potential for particle production that arises from collisions with higher energies. The upgraded detectors make it possible to maintain tabs on the more forceful and frequent contacts. Because of the upgrade, the LHC is now capable of storing additional data. Not only will scientists be able to search for candidates of dark matter, but they will also be able to investigate the characteristics of quark-gluon plasma, or QGP, which is a distinct form of matter that is believed to have existed for only 10 microseconds after the Big Bang. Because of the higher collision energy that can be achieved in the LHC, scientists will have the opportunity to examine whether or not QGP, which is currently thought to be a liquid that does not experience friction, may transform into a gas at higher temperatures. The subject of whether or not there are a large number of Higgs bosons will also be investigated. They will also continue their investigation into the matter-antimatter symmetry of the cosmos in an effort to find evidence that contradicts the standard model which is the most accurate explanation we currently have for describing the fundamental components of the universe. The CERN organization is expanding into new areas that are unrelated to particle physics. To be more specific, it's collaborating with the pharmaceutical and healthcare industries to build hadron therapy centers all around Europe. The use of hadron therapy is a more desirable choice for treatment of cancer when contrasted with more traditional forms of radiation therapy. The scientists working at CERN plan to continue their investigation into a wide range of disciplines, such as electronics, manufacturing, and many more. The corporation is looking into quantum technologies in order to further expand the capabilities of its data collecting infrastructure, as well as its data collection capabilities. By harnessing quantum physics, 
quantum technologies are generating smaller and faster computers. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what are your thoughts about this shocking discovery at CERN? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here, which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one. See you guys in the next.